Indoor tanning addiction is real and it has a clear target demographic, young women with a history of depression. A new study from Georgetown University found indoor tanning addiction is surprisingly similar to substance abuse and depression may increase the risk of becoming UV light dependent. News 4's Marissa Perlman explains. Climbing into an indoor tanning bed this time of year can seem like an appealing idea, but Dr. Joseph Cronin tells us addiction to tanning is possible. Anytime a person gets positive feedback due to a behavior, that can lead potentially to an addiction. According to a 2017 study, 20% of women who tan show signs of tanning dependency. Researchers ran 400 women through a set of mental and behavioral tests, both before and after a tanning session. The physical dependency on UV light exposure seems to completely override awareness of the risks, like getting cancer. Too much of it is bad for you. It doesn't feel bad mm -hmm. at the moment until you have to get melanomas cut off. Right. Right. Or it's spread and now you have to get chemo. Just one indoor tanning session before the age of 35 increases a person's risk of melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer, by 75 percent. One study of 63 women diagnosed with melanoma before age 30 found a striking 97 percent had used tanning beds. But Dr. Cronin says this idea of tanning dependency is nothing new. You've seen the people who overdo it. They look baked. Uh, so uh, it's, it's, it's not a new thing. It's uh, certain, certainly something that maybe has become more elucidated uh, and defined, but it's, it's a behavior that certainly can be curtailed and it requires specific efforts like any addiction. And Dr. Cronin says there are other ways to get your daily dose of vitamin D, which you do need. You need 15 minutes a day, and also you can take vitamin D supplements. In Buffalo, Marissa Perlman, News 4.